muddy, really muddy, and my boots got muddy too. My dad says I have to clean them up by myself. This is going to be really hard. I'm never gonna be able to do this. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Cleaning a muddy mess, are you? Hi, Ollie. It's gonna be so hard, I don't know if I can do it. Doing the right thing can be hard. It's true. I've got just the Bible story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. the last one. <laughs> well, friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project and we need lots of bricks. Hmm, can you count them with me as I put them away? All right, here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many is that? Two, okay. All right, let's keep going. Wow, okay, <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> Oh, now, how many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our story today. If you want to help me build it. Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin and it hurt really bad. There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. You know what? 
Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And look, his spots are gone! <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too! <laughs> way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman. <laughs> it was hard, but you did it, and now you're all better. See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. And it's all true. Naaman did a hard thing. And we can follow God's way, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Naaman had to do something really hard, but he did it because he trusted that God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! This is going to be really hard, but my dad told me to do it, so I will. I wonder if I have to scrub my boots seven times. One. Two. 